Hi, well, thank you for uh, joining us here, and I want to thank everybody who submitted a question um, into Rugby League Week. This week, I'm going to ask three or four questions that you'd like to answer. Um, and the first one comes from Brad. Brad says, uh, G'day MG, do you think William Mason has still got what it takes to regain his best form? Brad, unfortunately I don't, mate. I don't think Willie has uh, will ever reach the heights that he did in the, as he did in the mid-2000s. Um, but what I do think he'll provide for Newcastle is that type of mentorship um, that every club needs. Um, I think he'll be a good, a good pillar for the young kids to ask questions about and you know different questions and quarrels. And, um, and I think Willie will bring a lot of people through the gate. I think it's a good inclusion to the NRL and I'll be watching Willie every time he plays, hoping he goes well. Uh, Christian has asked, uh, has, uh, asked the question, do you ever consider a spell in the English game? If so, who, sh uh, who showed interest? Well, I played Christian for Sheffield Eagles in uh, 1988 for three months um, as I served the suspension, shock horror. Um, and then when I left Penrith in 1992, um, the great man Ellery Hanley came out to to see if I wanted to go and play for Leeds. And I was very close to signing with Leeds back in 93. So uh, the English game always appealed to me, but um, unfortunately I never played a couple of seasons or a, or a full season there. Uh, Marley has said to me, if you were head of the independent commission, what would be your most pressing, what would be your most pressing issue to be dealt with? Well, the name itself, independent, um, I'd get all the Queensland, New South Wales, country rugby leagues together under the same banner and make our game truly independent. I would take all the um, agendas off the table um, and the independent commission could deal with them uh, very importantly, I suppose. But also I'd, I'd change the interchange straight away. I'd go back to six or maybe even four interchange. I think that our game is going game busters at the moment, but I'll, I'd love to see a bit more attrition brought back into the game. And I think by lessening the interchange, we could do that. And Steve, you old bugger, you right. Where do the Panthers go from here, MG? Well, the Panthers from now go straight to hell. No, <laughs> the Panthers, mate, I don't know. Um, they're in trouble, buddy. Um, like the Eels and Titans, I, I picked all three clubs to be up around the eight this time um, before the season started. So, um, I don't know. Um, in Gus, we trust. In Ivan Cleary as well, we thought that they were going to bring instant success. But it's a... It's a it's probably a two or three year plan, and I know that sounds frustrating to a lot of fans, but that's the cold hard facts. <clears throat> Being a Penrith uh, member, uh, Penrith number one ticket holder and ex-player, uh, I'm disappointed like everybody else, um, but it doesn't stop me supporting my team, uh, like you should too, mate. So, look, thanks for the questions. Um, if you have any more questions for me next week, make sure you get me in Rugby League Week, and I'll be sitting here the same time next week. Ciao.